Hi everyone, welcome to tutorial 14 of our introductory Python for image processing tutorial series. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about dictionaries. And these are very similar to lists and tuples, the two topics we covered in the last two tutorials. In fact, dictionaries are more like lists where it's, a, it's an arrangement of objects. Uh, except in a dictionary, you have two entries, not just one at each, for each object. In a list for each object, you either have a number or uh, some sort of a uh, character or string or words, right? We had uh, one, two, three, four, apple, banana as uh, all in a list. Now in a dictionary, you have a key and a value, okay? A key and a value. This makes it an object. Now let's jump into Spider to actually uh, see what I mean. So let's go ahead and jump in and Spider is the IDE that we are using for uh, our tutorial. So let me zoom in one more uh, level. Okay, so uh, in order to make these videos very efficient, I actually wrote a few lines of code beforehand, but instead of going to that, let me copy line by line, I mean a few lines at a time, and then explain it. Uh, this makes it a bit easy, so you don't have to stare at the screen while I'm typing. Okay, so how are we going to define dictionaries? There are three primary ways of uh, defining dictionaries. One of these is my favorite, so I'm gonna start with that. So a dictionary is defined just like a list by assigning it to a variable. Uh, in this case, I defined a dictionary called life sciences. And within these curly brackets, again, we are defining a list using square brackets, tuples using our uh, parenthesis. And here for dictionary, we are gonna use a curly bracket. As you can see, Again, uh, I typed this in multiple lines for easy visualization, but think of this as uh, all uh, fitting in one line separated by commas, okay? So initially I have, uh, because this is text, I put it in the, in the quotations, within the quotations, okay? So botany, colon, plants. So the study of plants is botany. The study of animals is zoology, right? So these are, this is my key, this is my value. Okay, and zoology, and so let me hit return after comma so I can actually span it into, I mean, show that in one single screen. So virology, viruses, cell biology, cells. This is a dictionary. Now I can call, uh, for example, zoology to see what the uh, value is or the other way around. Before doing that, let me actually uh, show you one other way of actually defining or two other ways of defining these dictionaries. You can also define a dictionary by actually writing a simple list where you pair up uh, your botany with plants and separate it by a comma, okay? And then converting that into a dictionary using the DICT uh, function, okay? So in this case, I'm defining a list, see the uh, square brackets there? of pairs of uh, 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 elements or objects, and then I'm converting that into dictionary. This is also, uh, I've seen a lot of uh, people use this type of structure. Again, not my personal favorite. And finally, another way of doing it, if key values are simple strings, then you can also uh, define this one more time. Please go ahead and pause this video to uh, study this, but I just wanna make sure you understand the three different ways of defining your uh, dictionaries. Again, here I'm converting something into a dictionary, but I'm assigning a variable uh, botany to text called plants, okay? Variable zoology to animals and so on and converting this entire thing into dictionary. So there may be certain times where this is preferable over something else, or if our output coming from some other module looks this way, then uh, it's easier to actually convert that into dictionary just by typing DICT in front of it and then calling this entire entire uh, uh, list in this case. Okay, so let me go back and uh, uh, just keep my favorite one and let's go ahead and run it. No matter which one of those you have uh, executed, the result would be the same, which would be a dictionary with uh, 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 of size four with values uh, of zoology, animal, cell biology cells, and so on, okay? In fact, if I come down here and type life sciences, it should say DICT, it's a dictionary, okay? Okay, now that we have a dictionary, uh, let's actually uh, look at uh, how we can actually find if something is in this dictionary. Uh, let me use the bottom right hand side because it's easier. We'll get immediate free feedback. So if I type print zoology in life sciences, 
this is again asking a question do i have the entry zoology in the dictionary life sciences you probably can imagine the answer the answer is true because we do have that but if i actually type uh, let's go ahead and type something else neuroscience do i have neuroscience and the answer should be false okay now if you want neuroscience to be part of this you can always include that you can actually add it by uh, just typing life sciences okay which is the dictionary name and within the square brackets you type the key and then equals to a value this is like assigning a variable when we assign a variable right a equals to 3 a equals to 5 or something this is exactly the same except we are assigning a variable or inserting uh, an entry into the life sciences uh, into the life sciences uh, dictionary so let's go ahead and run this and if you uh, print life sciences you should see the entry for neuroscience and uh, nervous system right there okay moving on to the next uh, uh, point here uh, of course you can delete it just by typing delete life sciences okay so we can come back here and then just type it delete life sciences it's gone now if you print it the life sciences will be gone from this uh, from this dictionary so you can add you can remove uh, elements so uh, so it's not like tuples this is more like lists where you can add you can modify the you can modify the dictionary itself now one other uh, important point here is so far i just showed you like the text uh, here but you can create a dictionary using an, a combination of numbers and strings so here 42 is an integer and we assigned it uh, a value of hello 1.23 is again the key and the value is there and true which is a boolean uh, value and for that we uh, assigned a value of high and if we run this it should actually run very well and uh, the keys can also be uh, tuples I think uh, that's the next one here so if you remember from our previous tutorials tuples are these immutable lists right meaning we cannot modify it which makes them great for our keys because for keys you don't want the keys to be changing you want to access information using a key okay so uh, that's why it makes it uh, uh, tuples makes great uh, uh, keys again when I run this it runs fine no issues but if we change these tuples into lists I think I also got that example yeah so let me go ahead and paste it here and run this line and it should not execute so if I run this it should say unhashable type list okay and that basically is saying that okay the uh, the key values are wrong and uh, again to clear this again you can uh, if I come back down here we have a list for B right so B is uh, a list of 10A and so on you can actually do B dot clear and then that clears your list and if I type B again now we I mean our dictionary now I have an empty dictionary and finally let's end by uh, looking at uh, uh, a couple of things so what I would like to do is let me copy these few lines and delete all of these and just leave our life sciences over there now uh, oftentimes one of the reasons let me put it this way why we want to work with dictionaries is for example let's say your first entry instead of botany let's say this is my uh, this is my features image features okay you want to do machine learning and your botany here can be your original image and the key here instead of plants can be your pixel values of your original image and the second entry could be Gaussian smoothed image and the values here are all the pixel values on the Gaussian smoothed image and the next one can be a median image and the next one can be something else and something else and something else so for machine learning you generate these hundreds of these filters this is a great way of actually capturing all of that now if you would like to extract only the keys which is okay what filters did we apply or what filters do we have then you want to print out all the all the Gaussian median you know Hessian all of these at the same time so to do that the way you do that is uh, 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 you know whatever your uh, your dictionary name dot keys that gives you the list of everything and here I'm uh, that prints the list but I want to capture it as a list so I am converting that into list by putting list in front of it so if we run this line 
and then if we run this print d you'll see that my d is a list of zoology cell biology virology and botany same same with the values okay so when you do that and when you put e it's actually capturing let's go ahead and print this line it's actually capturing everything as uh, as a list all the key values so this may sound a bit abstract uh, uh, at this point, but uh, hopefully things get a bit more clearer when we actually use real dictionaries later on uh, in, in our upcoming tutorials. But I hope this at least gives you a quick introduction to what dictionaries are. Now you understand that something like dictionaries exist in Python. So future uh, in future, when we talk about it, you can always come back and refresh your memory watching this uh, specific tutorial. So thank you very much for your attention. And in the next tutorial, I'm going to talk about something very interesting, exciting, uh, which is uh, the topic of NumPy arrays, which, which makes our lists uh, usable for our image processing tasks. So thank you very much.